and welcome to my Saturday stream and scream of most likely Danganronpa. Alright, so I kind of want to spend time with Douche Boy and find out if he's really a douche. What do you guys think? I could spend time with Kyoko if I could even find her though. She might be too busy being aloof. Let's see. I don't even see her on the map. Nobody knows where she is. She's gone missing yet again. You're not gonna tell me where she is? Why? Why wouldn't you tell me? What have I done to deserve a punishment? I am nothing but sweetness and light to you guys. Go hang out with Douche McGee. I think that was in here. What? What? Did you need something? <laughs> Should I talk to Viakuya for a while? That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. I hope you appreciate this. I spent some time with Biakuya. Biakuya and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Um, sure. I do not know what the heck I should give him, though, as a present. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what we have. What is the mineral water? Uh, yeah, no. Maybe. I mean, he w does seem like the type that wouldn't be satisfied with, um, with, like, on the tap water. But doesn't necessarily mean that would be the good choice. <laughs> hmm. Whoops! This is. Okay! I went to, like, read about it instead of just flat out give it to him. But. Okay, I guess I, I pissed him off somehow. Sorry. You, you bastard! How did you get your hands on this? Oh, never mind. Even the collective force of the entire Togami Corporation wouldn't be enough to obtain this gem. I, I'm gonna hold on to this. <laughs> I thought he was angry. <laughs> I thought I fucked up. Yeah, exactly! I thought I fucked up, Baker! <laughs> Seeing Byakuya so happy with something I gave him makes me happy. I have a question for you. You do? That's right. Something's been bothering me for a while now, and I can't take it anymore. So to answer my question... Hmm. I need you to explain to me what your ultimate lucky student title means. I honestly don't know what kind of, what kind of uh, coffee that was, uh, Ninja. Don't know. You got Swedish fish? I love Swedish fish. It's not my favorite candy, but I haven't had them in such a long time that I've been kind of wanting them. Especially since we talk about Swedish fish so much. Um, I don't really get it myself, but what I do know is that I was picked at random from a pool of normal students. So in other words... So you just got into Hope's Peak by blind luck. <laughs> I see. Well, that answers my question. What was the question? <laughs> How a commoner like you, with absolutely no unique talents or abilities, could get into this school. <laughs> I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, untalented, utterly generic commoner got in. Boring? Generic? Did you really have to list all that off? But it's the truth. Maybe compared to you, the ultimate affluent progeny and all. But even I! You seem to think it's merely an issue of title. But make no mistake. My lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they're all ultimate. Which is to say, I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to begin calling me that, in fact. He's really taking this to the extreme. <laughs> you, who have nothing, I, who have everything. Whoops, shit, shit, shit. You, who have nothing, I, who have everything. We are living proof that all men are not created equal. You have my pity, Makoto. Life can be very cruel, indeed. And because I pity you so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to he hear my tale of glory. Are you in the edge of glory? Consider it a blessing, a gift from me to you, to allow you to bask in my glory. What 
Okay, having finished his mean-spirited lecture, Byakuya left me standing there, in silence. I learned something! I guess. <laughs> Anytime I talk to him, I need to be prepared for extreme psychological trauma! That's nice. <laughs> hey! I just unlocked the skill Cool and Composed. Give yourself a pat on the back. I earned it. Oh gosh, did I earn it. <laughs> Taking the licks and keep on ticking. I did my best to keep my spirits from shattering like glass <laughs> and went back to my room. Do I get more free time? Hmm. I feel even worse than I did this morning. I guess I should have picked someone else to hang out with. <laughs> my body feels like lead and now I'm getting chills. Oh no, I'm getting sick! Well, that's more reason to go spend more time with him to spread my illness. <laughs> it's like not a terrible idea. <laughs> Where do you where do you guys want me to uh, spend time with Aoi? What I'm saying, if I spend time with him, I might be able to you know give him my illness, and then we'll all be even. We'll we'll be you know it'll all be fair. <laughs> Aoi, Aoi for sure. All right, let's go let's go spend some time with Aoi. Let's see where she is. Well, I would like to spend time with Kyoko, but I don't know where the fuck she is. Maybe we can find her now. I think I did get a, a donut out of the vending machine. I have to go look at him. I wish I could look at him before. I might be able to, actually. I might be able to look at my presence before I go there. Yeah, I don't know where she is on the map. Yeah, I can. Okay. Made from an extremely rare and expensive coffee being collected. Yup, from the dung of an Asian palm... Kivet. It has a unique fragrance. I had a bunch of them, so I'm not that worried about it. You said donuts. I got a flotation donut. A giant donut that doubles as a flotation device. And naturally, you can snack on it while floating out to sea. It comes in a variety of styles. That seems a little ridiculous. You can actually eat it? I thought it was like, you know, like a, a flotation donut, like save your life kind of flotation donut. But it's like the other kind, like an actual edible donut. And then <laughs> you just also happen to be able to float on it. Which, I mean, if she's like the best swimmer, I don't know if she wants that, but she does love donuts. So, yeah, maybe we'll give her one of these and see. So she's in the laundry, which is just outside here. Hi, you. Would you like to hang out? A person's ability is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous baseball player Kenji Jojima. Yeah, totally. I think what he means is that you're only you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. Under pressure. I wonder how strong I can really be. Hmm. Should I talk to Hina for a while? Sure, let's get her sick. You got it. Okay, let's go to the pool. Swim time! Bye. But, um, uh, don't stare, okay? Whoa! <laughs> I don't actually have a swimsuit, just a shirt. And when it gets wet, it's kind of embarrassing. Huh? Although, I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kind of am. I wonder how come, because... You were with Sakura before, probably? Sakura doesn't have a penis, despite um, everyone else's opinion. I went swimming with Hina, who seemed kind of embarrassed. No pictures, sorry guys. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would I like to give her a present? Sure! Let's give her the flotation donut. Where is the flotation donut? There it is. <laughs> How thoughtful! This is why I like you, Makoto. I mean, not like, 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 not that kind of like. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <laughs> oh man, oh man. What's okay. up? I'm getting totally fired up. What the hell come? <laughs> How come doesn't matter. Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race! 
I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyways. That's right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Hey, hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Mm. Really? That's such a cute picture of her right there. I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Yeah. Super spaz? Yeah. Like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff mm -hmm. like that. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all wrong. Getting sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. Wow. Maybe I should take that philosophy. I'm, I get sick all the time. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type who gets sick easily? Actually, yeah! See? You're soft. You need more training. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. We need someone like me. What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every morning. You just strip down to your waist, then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. Why? I call it, um, huh? what do we call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your s uh, towel treatment, I guess? I mean, I guess it's towel treatment? I mean, I doubt it's the bamboo beatdown. Uh... I, shit, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it's a towel treatment. I think it's called towel treatment. I don't know. I'm just gonna guess it. Like a towel treatment? <laughs> you got it! Oh my god, yeah, that's it! I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without a good, getting a good rub down. Uh, your neighbors. Wait. <laughs> Wait, so you went on your balcony and stripped down, and you're okay with that. <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I hate to see you catch cold or something, especially since I'm, like, currently like sick this was the per first person <laughs> better neighbors never miss a morning either yeah probably not your maximum number of skill points has increased all right i was hoping for like a skill skill but after being introduced with a unique sickness prevention method i went back to my room did i then try it because i was saying i was getting sick you don't have a balcony time for the roof that that's a that's commitment right there to the towel treatment. I feel kind of dizzy. Can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped into the bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. Did someone drug me? I was unconscious before my bed hit the pillar. A pillar. The pillar. Like like a pillar holding up the roof. <laughs> before my bed hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. Like you were drugged! <laughs> I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... You probably have taken your hoodie off. Shit. <laughs> I was restless. By the way, his zipper goes all the way up around his head. If he wanted to, he could apparently completely seal his hoodie. If you had such a desire to. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That's my own voice. It's so familiar. <laughs> I understand. It's me. I understand. I should understand everything my goal isn't to get out of here it's to stay here huh what am i trying to say hope this is all for hope and that's why i have to stay i have to stay 
stay here. My dream just now... What? His eyes kind of match his hoodie. So strange. Huh? Oh, shit! Um, that's not good. Uh... Yoko? What the... What did you... Why are you over my bed again? Why is she always over my bed? What did you say? So did I hallucinate the first thing? Or did Kyoko interrupt someone? Or did Kyoko just like... Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Good morning, everyone. Jeez, I it slept the whole damn night. A.M. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up to the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. Oh, that's good. All that was left was me drenched in sweat. And it wasn't because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that about? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to get uh, to grab onto fragments of my dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right. I remember last night. I came down with a fever and I couldn't quite get to sleep. And I I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then all of a sudden I was awake and there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. I can't tell if that's a boy or a girl. They look kind of thin like it could be a girl, but the hands kind of look like a boy. I don't know, it could be either. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. So he doesn't remember Kyoko at all? But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly, and after that, things go black again. The next thing I remember, Kyoko was there, but what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. It's more like Bane than Batman. <laughs> no, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Go find Kyoko. Oh, I should look for some kind of evidence. Um. Oh, the knife! I was the one that was supposed to have it. Yep. There's nothing inside. I'm positive I put the knife in there. Which means... That knife was my knife. Yep. I knew it. I just had a feeling. Was it a dream after all? But if that's true, it all makes even less sense. Why would someone want to attack me? Who's behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. I had... Yeah, I had one job. To hold on to the fucking knife. I couldn't even do that. 
probably because I announced it to everyone. I was like, yeah, I'll just go put it in my my desk drawer. No big worries at all. Hey, Makoto. Ah, oh, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Hi, Hina. Where the fuck is everyone else? Um, you really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worried? Because, I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been... You know... <laughs> I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody around here would want to... You know... So anyways, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come get me? Did something happen? Mm. Um, well, lots of stuff, actually. Okay. Um, let's go meet up with everyone else, and then they can tell you all about it. So is everyone waiting somewhere else, or...? That's right. Oh, yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole fucking <laughs> night? I lost at rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, okay sure. I just told you I'm sick, but sure, I'll help you carry it. Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you want more content. Thanks again, guys. Alright. Bye, bye, bye! This is probably a really bad place. I was about to say that. Probably a really bad place for Undying to be.